trouble? Need me to take care of it? Counting. All yours, Director. Counting. All yours, Director. Stop that! Doesn't that hurt? Come on, come on! Stay behind me, Yoka! I've got you back! Ah, oh, here you are. <laughs> you all still seem kind of sleepy. How are you feeling after last night? Uh-huh. Of course, <clears throat> after such a brutal ordeal, the joy of rest must be amplified. Miss Lyria, did you tidy up our rooms for us? Oh, was that it? And here I thought, Director forked over to have automatic cleaning added to the airship. Um, don't mention it. I just couldn't bring myself to sit around when I saw you all enter Fantasyland. Anyways, 
I am glad to see that everyone is fine. Yes, me too. I won't forget what you've done for me. I will become stronger and fight side by side with you. And then, one day, I will bring my sister back from the darkness. It seems everybody has recovered. I, Miria, on behalf of the Erwager Alliance, give you all my heartfelt thanks and recognition. Athos team. Yes! You have proven your power. Now, down the path to liberate the reality, may you continue to thrive in the battles to come. Acting Director of Gopher Troop. In the absence of Director Bernald, you have carried out the duties of Acting Director to the letter. From this point forward, the Alliance recognizes you as the Commanding Officer of Gopher Troop. And now, I'm afraid I have a developing situation to report. The arrival of Fantasyland in Rolana City has corroded the area far faster than we expected. We missed our chance to stop the arrival of Fantasyland. Because of that, I will give my all to help everyone combat the Fantasyland's corrosion. That's my Rico. This A member who is familiar with the area has already set off in advance. Now please awaken Rolana from its nightmare, so we can once again have our precious reality. All yours, Director. The live stream is over, Director. Uh, uh, but uh, if I am going to enjoy them, I'm afraid my mask.
Glowar, are you sure this is where we're supposed to rendezvous? It's been so long since we got here. Where in the world is she? Take it easy. We got here a bit early. You know how she is. Be a little more patient. And, I mean, Rolana is kind of a source of sad memories for her. But that's true for Asa too, you know? Hey, you know there are monsters in fantasy land that rip the tongues off people who talk behind others' backs, yeah? Isa, there you are. Ready to make some noise with us? So, there are dream eaters in fantasy land that rip people's tongues out? Come on, Ruko. She's obviously being silly. And I see she got you too, Director. Oh, hey, cutie. You must be the new acting director. You don't quite look the part, though. But anyhow, let's get ready to get down to business. So, director, ready to show us what you've got up your sleeve? Now there's hope for the children. We've got a little more garbage to clean up than usual, but it's no biggie, really. Pretty good for a new director. You've earned my approval, for now at least. The client's here. Please, do tell us more about the mission. Rini invited some kids to join her daughter Alice for a birthday party. And my- I was just waiting for them to come home when the Crystallis came and told us to get ready for the arrival of Fantasyland. None of us obeyed, though. We weren't about to leave our children behind and go to Fantasyland ourselves. B but then... It all got out of hand from there. <laughs> you have the children to thank for that one. Otherwise, he might have been one of those meat sacks back there. Or worse, one of the monsters we just took down. Isa, please. Please, just ignore her and go on. Anyhow, we just want to get our kids back now and get out of this cursed place. And don't forget about Greeny and Alice. Greeny has been very nice to us and the kids. Something terrible must have happened, or she definitely would have sent the kids home safely already. Don't worry. If the children are trapped at the mayor's, our friends will take good care of them when they get there. They've been put under some sort of sleep spell. <laughs> but we'll also have to consider the probability. We'll do what we can to get them out of this nightmare. Let's head down to the Crystal Obelisk already. Athos team of Gopher Troop hereby accepts this mission. The beloved reality you once knew will soon be yours again. Count it. All yours, Director. Come here! Back to 
Director, this fantasy land is far more dangerous than the one they put together at Ruko's. Are you ready? A stage like this is the only thing that will do Athos team's debut justice. I love that confidence, but I'm afraid we won't be getting any more intel until we're in fantasy land. We have only ourselves to count on to figure out this fantasy land's structural core and ruler. Isa, is there anything else you'd like to add about Rolana? Well, I've been away from the slum for far too long to know what's going on now. I see. Well, the mayor and his wife were good Samaritans back in the day, which is why people were able to enjoy life in peace, despite the fact that Rolana is so isolated. None of that has anything to do with castaways like us. <sighs> Who knows what happened here? Come on, East. Okay, that's it. Let's get going and show them who the boss is. Agreed. Now, let's get the show on the road. hard like this, I'll be able to catch up with Olivia. Very good. Life feels even better now. All yours, Director. All yours, Director. Feels even better now. Oh, you can oh, you can use this as a material.
Counting. All yours, Director. Director. Feels even better now. Very good. Life feels even better now. But I've mastered it. Time to play around with it in the field. So, you don't know what this is, huh? Lore, that's not something you should be teaching her. This place is a living hell. Should I stay away from it even in the real world? Yes, especially in the real world. <laughs> Why are you treating her like a fragile little rose? The rose only grows strong when you expose it to a proper amount of rain and... A fragile rose? Huh? I know for a fact that she's far stronger than you could ever imagine. Anything. This little rose has been blooming in the wind. Yuffie, I'm not half as amazing as you make it out to be. Isa has a point, though. We need to study our surroundings carefully now, to know what we're dealing with. That's the least we can do to make ourselves useful to Director, no? Well said, Ruko. But Euphoria does have a point, too. According to the intel we have, the and then he took in a group of refugees with... It took him less than a year to grow filthy rich. What happened to the mayor, though? We don't know. Maybe there's no reason at all. Agreed. Well, anyhow, let's keep moving and see what other clues we can find along the way. Show you what this lady can do! 
Don't underestimate these minions. people the most. All yours, Director. to reuse all the loot we find. All yours, Director. Welcome to this amusement park for grown-ups. The only true heaven on Earth. Well, well. How do you all enjoy our service so far? Huh. She said the exact same thing Cloar did. Mm-hmm, she did. Cloar, are you hearing this? Yeah, that means she's been watching us this whole time, you d- My apologies. But we make it a point to learn the needs of each of our guests and to satisfy those needs. You are welcome to enjoy yourselves here. But if you're here to make a scene, then I would have no choice but to get rid of you. Now, you probably won't enjoy yourselves as much if all we do is fight. That you say? Bring it on! I was just about to stop you from it, but... It's nothing difficult at all. Let's bet on... humanity. Say, would these people hate you or thank you if they are ever returned to the real world? What they think is none of my business, though. My. But say whatever floats your boat. Because you'll never find out what they think anyway.
could beat someone as greedy as myself. Now, that really is something indeed. But greed dies hard. Well then, I wish you all a wonderful time here. A chip? Is this an invitation for me to go for a few rounds? I was just kidding. Why are you all looking so serious? Based on what Dealer said, this fantasy land is most likely built around greed. That's easy! We just have to find out where the mayor is and beat the hell out of him. Then... The mayor? Why the... Why not, though? He's the one who's caused all this because of his greed. Besides, I saw my fair share of nobles like this when I used to work as a mercenary. I'm just staying here and thinking about it. When we see him, let's give him a good thrashing. Let's keep... Counting. All yours, Director. Counting. All yours, Director.
anymore <sighs> but that's obviously a lie cloak let's or else huh but I told you I'm not scared director you are treating me like a child now if you ever treat me like a child again <clears throat> I hate the idea of interrupting you all but a bunch of dream eaters are coming this way as we speak. which is great I'm feeling bothered by some unpleasant memories, and I could really use some nice sandbags now. even warmed up yet excuse me you weren't even the one taking charge <laughs> hey, hey are you, are you taking, taking her side? side come on this really is no time for you to compete for director's love heard that yuffie we came here to wait did you just say director's love um Yes, I did. Because we've got something much more important to deal with right now. So, Isa, care to bring us up to speed on what's going on here? Fine. I suppose it wouldn't hurt for me to tell you a little bit about my past. Asa and I were born and raised in an orphanage called Starguard Forest in the outskirts of Rolana. People there are as naive as you are. Hey, I wouldn't describe ourselves as being naive. Well, that's exactly how I would describe you all, though. <laughs> but anyhow, that's Starguard Forest for you. There was Asa, the old maidservant, and a bunch of abandoned children. Life was great, until the Crystallis brought us to the court, and told us that they were going to put us through some trial of the crystal. The mayor determined us and me to be castaways, and was going to put us behind bars, but his wife pitied us and asked him to spare us. Doesn't seem so terrible of a punishment, huh? What happened after that? We never heard about it from you and Asa. Don't push it, though, if those memories bother you so much. What else do you remember about him, Isa? Nothing else, really. All I remember is that when we were kicked out of the city, Rini secretly gave us clothes and food, but then... Greedy mayor, kind-hearted mayoress, and despicable Crystallis. I think we're getting close to the core of this fantasy land. Counting. All yours, Director.
Melting. All yours, Director. Counting. All yours, Director. Fancy seeing you all here. What in the world? Wait, clearly remember beating these scumbags before, Director. I remember that too. We beat her to a pulp at the amusement park for grown-ups. This is weird. A Dream Eater's soul usually goes back to the real world when they lose a fight. Wait, does that mean that Fantasyland itself is... <laughs> no way I'm going down before I see the mayor's wishes come true. Money, power, and human lives are nothing but bargaining chips he uses to satisfy his greed. I knew it. This fantasy land is built upon lives. Uh, you bunch of... <laughs> She's absolutely right. You'll never guess just whose lives the mayor has sacrificed to build this fantasy land. Ah, right. The castaways from some orphanage. <gasps> I knew it. I knew you were the ones behind it. Director confused with someone else. Um, Isa? Can I give you a hug too? Count me in. I've never seen Isa so cute. <laughs> Count me in too. I don't need any of. Wait, just stay where you are! No. 
Never mind. I'll be the grown-up that I am and let you all go. I really don't miss this feeling. Well, Isa... Wait! I know what you were about to say. You are not to blame for the tragedy that happened at Stargard Forest. And I mean, I am the one who... What did you just say? Oh my... That, that sounds exactly like what you'd say, Director. Director is right. We are your family. Yes, we are. Yeah, I know I am sassy. And I also know for a fact that I fight much better than you do. Uh, excuse me? I suppose I'll take you up on that, Director. But remember to get on a knee next time if you ever want to do something like this again. Slow down, Yuffie. Let's take our time studying our surroundings. We know what we're dealing with. Isa, come here and check the ornament on the ring. Is it the mayor's family crest? Yes. Hm. I saw this crest on their banners when the mayor and his wife paid us a visit at the orphanage. I knew it! A pretentious phony, huh? I'm disgusted. The chip that the dealer left behind was self-explanatory. But what are we supposed to make of this ring? I think the ring symbolizes the mayor's greed. Oh, this is one huge scale. The family crest, the court, the scale. Is it all supposed to show an insatiable desire for power? Wow, Director, did you hear that? Yuffie just nailed that. of Yuffie. She's doing a good job, and you should compliment her for that. I meant that as a compliment, though. <laughs> yes, we definitely should act with a well-thought-out plan if this fantasy land was born out of the mayor's greed. Or else... <sighs> or else...
<laughs> All bark and no bite. Come on, hurry up and show me what you really got. Hey, you've lost everything you had. Be good and set everyone free from this fantasy land already. What else we're going to run into? Did we get it all wrong? Wasn't this place built on the mayor's greed? That can't be right. The money, the power, everything adds up. What's this thing what that's moving around in there? It's weird that the mayor only carries it around without wearing it. Lord, the thing inside looks like a teardrop? Issa, toss the ring in there. So that's what the mayor holds most dearly. Seems like the one behind all this is waiting for us. Let's go and put an end to it. These are the rewards, right? <sighs> Great work, everyone! Is this a garden? And this is the core of this fantasy land? <sighs> I'm crawling with goosebumps. Let's leave this place. <laughs> <laughs> who show up in my garden uninvited. Ma'am? But what are you... Seems like you plan on staying here. <sighs> the kids you invited to the party, could you let them go home? I am offering these kids to my one and only Alice. That's not gonna happen! Driven mad by fantasy land, huh? Seems like we'll have to beat some sense into you. You can't separate us. Trouble? Need me to take care of it? Come here! Alice, 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 Alice,
Ma'am. You're trying a little too hard to look away from reality. Your past. Your pain. And what you've done. You refuse to look these in the eye. It's ridiculous because... Because we always thought of you as a mother. In the space? Oh no! My sketchbook! <laughs> Damn it! Lisa! Make sure to reuse all the loot we find! I am Alice. My father is Antoine, and my mother is Greeny. I love my parents. I feel very ill one day, and both mom and dad were very heartbroken. Dad spent every last coin to save me, before he resorted to some strange people and became scary. While Mom held me in her endless hug and prayed. Mom was consumed by her grief. I... I just don't want Mom to suffer again because of me. Isa, it sure has been a while. I see you've grown up. <laughs> I came to this fantasy land and hid myself away for Alice. I mean, for myself. So I could be together forever with Alice. It's time we put an end to all this. She's trying to kick us out of here. And take this place down with her. Is she going to self-destruct? Not happening! Congratulations on finding the true core of this fantasy land. Proceed with caution, because that person's soul is in there. <laughs> <laughs> 